all right so welcome back here we have the unboxing video that i promised you guys uh we got a quite a few things going on here i just got home actually i had to ship to my home address instead of at school so yeah i just got here so i just um installing snow leopard which is should be pretty cool check that out and here i just have some devices that i'm going to check as well like some cell phones i think this came with some adapters it, it may or may not work i'm not sure yet but it's definitely going to work with the iphone but just in case i just had those there so uh, yeah let's just go ahead and get started and this came fairly quick uh, i think i ordered it um last weekend which would be like saturday so i think i got it maybe in three days so here as you can see, uh, this is packaging for I just basically got this one mostly because of design, how it looked basically. I really didn't get it for the power it produced, I just wanted something that I would uh, like the look of it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open it here. And this one cost uh, about $20 actually. I was going to get the $10 one but... Again, I was going after the look of it, the design of it. Let's just take this out of here. And it seems like it has something in the back as well. I think these are just a whole lot of, yeah, just uh, different adapters. I'll zoom in on that in a second. And some basic instructions, which I never read in a way, but um, yeah, just just the back of it. This is just telling you certain features, specifications, and all that kind of stuff. And let's see some of the adapters. I'm not sure what I will use this one for. Has some kind of piece in the middle of it. Find out later on. I think it has like a lot of pieces for like cell phones and things like that. So that's the reason I did uh, bring out some old, old cell phones as you can see. It's hiding in my drawer collecting dust right now. So, yeah, it seems like a whole lot of different cell phone uh, adapters that you would use. So yeah, I'm guessing this probably has a little power in it. I'm not going to use it too much, but uh, just to give you an overview of this. It's fairly light, actually. Lighter than what I thought it was. Uh, it has the USB ports, and I'm guessing this is just another port so I can use some of these adapters in it. And on the back, it has a uh, 5 volt uh, output, USB and 5 volt. Yeah, it's it's a pretty neat device. Again, I'm probably just going to keep this in my car somewhere. And only thing I wouldn't like about this is I like some of those had like LED indicators on them. And I, I kind of wish this one had it, but I'd probably get by without that. So I guess I would try, let's just try the iPhone real fast. I'm just going to go ahead and test this since I, it should have a little power in this portable iPhone charger. And um, let's see what happens here. So I'm just going to plug this into the USB port, of course. And it does charge the iPhone. As you see, it did come on. And it also has these LED indicators, which I wanted. I didn't even notice those dots there. So that's pretty nice to have. I didn't even know it had that on it. So I'm just guessing here that um, it's indicating how much power it's currently in this portable iPhone charger. So I guess I'm just missing one dot here. So that's pretty neat. And just to zoom in on the iPhone, just to show you that symbol that it is charging. So on the right there, to the right top corner, you can see that the iPhone is in the charging mode right now. So just to take a look at some more of these adapters, uh, I know with this portable iPhone charger, you should be able to charge it with like a laptop or a PC, along with charging it with, of course, solar energy. So 
one of these pieces over here, I'm guessing, let's see here. Try to learn without reading the manual. Probably would help, but uh, uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so on the back again, of course we have the um, 5 volts out USB and the N5 volts. So the N5 volts, of course, is going to be putting power inside of the portable iPhone charger. So, of course, that's what we're going to use to charge it. So I'm guessing this piece goes in here. And, of course, this one here with this little piece in the middle of it, uh, it's going to hook directly onto that. And then we have like a USB piece here. So that's just going to plug directly into, I guess, a laptop or a computer or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into this desktop PC here and just see what happens. Alright, so when I plug that in, as you can see, one indicator LED light came on. So I'm guessing uh, I still have like two more dots I gotta go up before this thing is fully charged. So it's neat that I can charge it both with just regular uh, USB ports or I can charge it with a just standalone uh, regular solar energy. So that's pretty nice to have. Um, another feature that I, I saw that it had was say I forget my dock or say I forget the piece here that you can carry around with you if you want to as well. So I just left that in my room or something like that back at school. What this has is I can tell that they made this specifically for an iPhone or made it uh, compatible with an iPhone because of this piece right here. Basically this is the same exact piece as the connection you uh, receive with the iPhone. So, looking at that, I can probably just plug this directly into the bottom of the iPhone. And again, with this special piece that they include, uh, plug that in directly into the female end of that. And again, here we go. We have a USB piece here that's going to plug directly into a laptop or a desktop. So, let's just try that out, see if it works. And as you can see, if you heard that noise, it is back in charge mode as well. So that works fine. That's great to have. I probably would just keep this entire piece uh, in my car. And of course, this should work with the um, portable iPhone, portable solar, whatever, uh, panel iPhone charger or whatever. Just plug this into the USB port. And... As you can see, it does work. And just looking for that uh, symbol to the right top corner there. So this is great to have in my car, of course, anywhere, any trip you may go be going on. And on the back here, I notice it works with uh, other devices like um, PSPs, um, camcorders, iPhones, pocket PCs, of course, cell phones. Uh, looking through here, I really didn't see a compatible adapter for these, uh, in particular cell phones. I'm just guessing uh, how old these are. They probably really didn't try to make the adapter for those, but I thought most adapters have a similar type of adapter for them. So I don't think it's going to work with these. Uh, I think I had went ahead and tried it or looked online to see if it would work, but it's not. So. Anyway, I'm satisfied with it just to give you another uh, 360 view of this solar panel, portable solar panel iPhone charger. And just to compare it with size with the iPhone, it is fairly small. It is fairly thin as well. Maybe about the same dimensions there or as far as thickness. So yeah, I recommend everybody at least try to get one of these or if you uh, are going on like long trips, vacations, you travel a lot or again just to have something in your car as just a backup source of energy or something like that. And if you have any questions about this or you have any comments anything just post below the video or just uh, go to solotechtown.com and visit our forums and open a thread about it. But um, yeah. It's been fun and thanks for viewing this video and I will see you next time.